Good morning guys, it is Wednesday and today is a very exciting day because in a few minutes we are heading off to the garage. Um, that means two things. We are obviously taking it in for a complete checkup, uh, the tires will be replaced and uh, we will we hope to get a new MOT so that we can drive for another year and um, yeah, not excited to find out any surprises, we hope that it's all alright. But it also means that we are driving the van for the first time in seven months, I think, since October. We, uh, when we acquired the van, I think we visited family twice and then we took off insurance and parked it in front of the apartment on a parking lot um, ever since and built it. We drove her back uh, two meters <laughs> once and um, that was because we had to install something and um, the electricity didn't make it up until the roof so um, that's why uh, we had to dro drive her back a couple of meters and then we put it back in place um, she still starts I think she did a couple of days ago so um, yeah it will be exciting we hope that we make it to the garage um, and that everything works fine but uh, yeah well we will check in again when we get back Jordi is still painting some stuff, uh, the back of stuff that I painted twice yesterday. Uh, so that can go in eventually at the end of the day. Um, and that's it. Um, fingers crossed that everything will be alright. And you will see us when we get back. It's now 4 p.m. We went to the garage at 8 o'clock and we were back home at, I think, a little past 9. Um, the car passed the, uh, the test and there is nothing majorly wrong with it. There's just a few small things that have to be fixed. So currently this afternoon we just left the car there and they are working on um, something with the brakes and something with a few lights and I think the um, windshield wipers have to be fixed. Um, we'll show you exactly what they did uh, when we get the car back. Um, so we're waiting for their call to pick the car back up. And they're also switching out the tires and just checking the oil and everything. Uh, but the car didn't have any major issues, so we are very happy with that. Hi. But those wooden crates that I talked about yesterday, we just went to pick up some. And uh, we didn't make quite some changes in our ideas, but we're very happy with it. Initially, we wanted to buy a drawer cabinet from IKEA um, because that yeah i thought we thought that it would fit behind the dog crate and that we ha would have some space for some wooden crates in front of that uh at the back of the van but we um found something else and i thought i'd share it with you so this is what we found this is the type of crate that we were looking for just without a lid but um we were thinking why is this 60 euros why is this so expensive so we opened the lid and found that there were multiple crates inside I think there are five or perhaps even six. So now we have a couple of crates, a um, few of which can be stacked at the back. Perhaps one small one that we can use at the front of the back. Oh, hi Venus. But in the back we can now store bulk stuff like dog toys and um, other things like uh, firewood and stuff like that. So these are all of the crates and they will not fit on the floor, all of them, uh, but so we might have to stack some of them and perhaps we will have to give one away, but, but we love them and um, yeah, happy with those. So because we chose these crates, we feel like we did a bit of a better, better job because if we would have went to Ikea, we would have bought something new that was made specifically um, for new buyers, but we chose to buy something that was already used prior, so it's basically just an upcycled item, or even reused because the um, the shape of the item didn't change. So uh, yeah, we hope that it'll last us a while, and um, I think it looks good as well. Then another thing that we picked up is this metal, um, well, what do you call it, a bin? I'm not sure, a metal container. Um, we really like the shape and um, I chose to, to, to take this one because we did not have a drawer in the van, no drawer at all. So we thought why not take this one as a drawer and put it in one of the cabinets and use it for our cutlery and stuff like that. So that's what this will be used for. But because it's metal it makes quite a lot of sound if you touch it. So we thought why not 
cover the bottom with some leftover floor tiles of cork that we have. So Jordi cut them to size and he's now going to varnish them and then we'll use some adhesive that we still have um, to glue them to the bottom. And I'm not sure but we might also have to do something with these sides because it will still uh, make a lot of sound if those are not protected but we'll decide that later on. That's it for today guys. It was a very short vlog but that's because we were out with the van and out cleaning the apartment the entire day but you will see us again tomorrow on our journey of filling the entire van with all of our stuff and heading over to the north of the Netherlands uh, where we will stay for a few days with family and finish the rest of the van won't be much work but uh, we want to do it well and be fully prepared to leave so tune in tomorrow for a different daily vlog of moving out have a good night and goodbye.